The H-1B visa is a three-year visa. It's an employer-sponsored process. So that means that the employer is going to be initiating the process for an employee um, to work at their company. When you are on an H-1B visa, you can only work for the employer. You don't have work authorization to work for any other companies. A question that I often receive is whether an H-4, so an H-1B spouse, whether they have work authorization in the United States. So generally the answer is going to be no. H-4 uh, visa holders do not have work authorization and cannot apply for work authorization in the United States unless you fall under one of the exceptions. So there are various exceptions where you can apply for a work authorization. So that's going to be a form I-765 that allows you to work in the United States. If you fall under one of these exceptions, you are able to work for um, any amount of companies at the same time, part-time, full-time. It's really an open work authorization. One of my biggest recommendations when applying for an H-1B visa is to request the credential evaluation as quickly as possible. So the idea is when you want to start the process, the first thing you should do is request a credential evaluation if your university degree is from a foreign country. Sometimes what happens is, is that you may have a degree in a foreign country and it's not the equivalent of a bachelor's degree in the United States. So it's really important that you find that out as quickly as possible so that you can see how to approach that type of situation. Hi, my name is Michelle Beckscher. I'm an attorney here at the office of Beltram Frito Casamayor. If you have any questions about the H-1B visa, please feel free to reach out to us and we can answer any questions that you have.